Ubuntu Mate is awesome sauce. Oof. It just came over me then. Oh, hello everyone and welcome to my review of Ubuntu Mate 1610. So I'm absolutely impressed with this distro. I really like just the amount of work they've done in making it such an easy to use and stable Linux distro. I consider it the benchmark for just how good an Ubuntu based distro can be. So an impressive amount of work has gone into the Ubuntu Mate this time around. Uh, I've seen they've changed desktops three times. So they're now using the Ubuntu Mate 1.16 desktop. And what has changed there? Oh, nothing much at all. Oh yeah, it's using GTK3 now as its base. So they're looking more towards future-proofing the distro. And maybe we can see it moving towards a different display manager in the future. Wayland, Murr, who knows. And I've seen that they're making progress towards being able to use high definition displays with Mate, the HIDPI displays. So I've got a lot of promising things to look forward to in the future with this distro. But as of right now, yep, it's still good. The Ubuntu Mate 1610 is codenamed Yakti Yak. This is the default welcome screen which we get on the system, and I have to say this is one of the finest welcome screens I've ever seen on any Linux distro. We have an introduction to the system. List of features. Yeah. Fairly self explanatory there. Getting started. Very useful task which we'll need at the start of getting the system up and running. There's links to the community and chat room. On this side, we have the shop and donate. This last button here on the left hand side, software, I just want to take a quick look at here because the software boutique is a fairly basic software center. So you've got the option of looking through categories for well, some useful applications for your system. I don't expect it's the entire list of applications, but this is just something for a newer user to get started on the system. I notice now that we have this search feature, so let's try and find something. VLC. Okay, no software found. Let's try convert all. Oh, that one is in there. So it's not complete but it's actually a very good basic software center. So let's move along to the desktop. So we have the old GNOME classic layout of the, the application launcher in the top left hand side. On the top right hand side we've got links to the calendar, volume control, network and uh, that's just a feature I've enabled for searching. On the bottom panel we have a show desktop, that'd be the list of the applications that are open and got a desktop switcher and a link to a trash can or rubbish bin in this case. This, this is the Kaha file manager. It's an older version of Nautilus. So in that respect, it has more features than the modern day version of Nautilus. Oh, that was cheeky, wasn't it? Bit below the belt. And it can even do a thumbnail of an SVG file, a scaled vector graphics. So I have Marte image viewer. Come on, you're being a little bit slow here. Hmm. Let's try the PNG file, ah, quick and easy. I do remember the older version of I have GNOME being a little bit slower on the SVG files, so maybe that's why. As I mentioned, Ubuntu Mate is now using GTK3, and honestly there is no real difference to the end user. Literally, using it here, I couldn't tell you the difference between the older and newer versions. And that is a brilliant thing, because if I could see the difference, then they failed their job. Memory usage does seem to be a little bit higher, but I've allocated this virtual machine 8 gig of RAM, so that's all kind of relative, really. I seem to have only allocated it one CPU core. That was a mistake. But I tell you what, it still flies, even with, even with one CPU core. I mean, just take, for example, opening LibreOffice. Yeah, not much difference there than if I had it at a dual or quad core in a virtual machine. A useful feature that's been included in Ubuntu Mate is the look and feel Mate tweak tool. So you can make various changes on the interface and the panel layout. I could change to a completely different style of operating system, for instance, Mutiny, a Unity style layout. Cappuccino, which is an Apple style layout with an application launcher on the bottom of the screen. In this instance, it's Plank on the bottom of the screen. Going back to the Ubuntu Mate layout, and yeah, there's a couple more options there as well. You can change the software compositor as well, whether you want to use GPU acceleration on the Marco Display Manager or even go to the Compiz GPU Accelerated Desktop. 
One change I would like to make here is moving the close, minimize and maximize button to the left hand side. I prefer it in that order, but I thought I would show you what the desktop looks like originally. Right clicking on the desktop brings up the option to well, create a folder, launcher or new document. But the item I was looking for here was changing the desktop background. A few different wallpapers included. But I've gone for this fine wallpaper created by Ghost67. He has a YouTube channel as well, so you can check that out. Also got the options to change well, fonts, some more options on the interface and the themes. A few different themes included. Let's try a different theme as well, just to uh, experiment with it and just see how good these GTK3 themes are now. No different than they were before, so again that is a positive thing. No discernible difference. That is exactly what we want. Hmm, I quite like that theme. Let's see how it looks in Firefox. <laughs> Perfectly fine. Ubuntu Mate have provided their own custom start screen, so you have the option of searching on Google or DuckDuckGo. Now take a look at some of the applications that we get on the system, because the ISO for this distro is quite chunky at 1.6 gig. So what have they included for that? Uh, we get Firefox for the web browser, Thunderbird for the email client, Partial Suite of LibreOffice, VLC for the media player. That's interesting, VLC is included, so maybe that was why it didn't appear in the software boutique, because it's pre-installed. Rhythmbox for the audio player, system tools, nothing too interesting there, universal access, nothing too interesting. Places gives you a couple of shortcuts to your home folder, desktop, computer and network. System, well there's quite a bit under here with the administration and preferences. Last item I'll look at here is the control center. So there's quite a few configuration changes that you can make. You can see we have a firewall pre-installed on the system. Screensavers, and oh, we even get animated screensavers as well. Hmm. As a feature I don't seem to see quite so much now on Linux desktops. Overall I think Ubuntu Mate is a fantastic Linux distro. I would certainly recommend it to new Linux users, and it's still lightweight enough for older systems. So why don't I use it as my main Linux distro? Well, I'm too much of a sucker for the KDE Plasma desktop. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.